Hello, Representative Derek Kilmer here. February is a special time for our country because it's when we celebrate Black History Month. It's a time to reflect on the fact that the gains we've made today were only possible because of those who marched before. Throughout our country's history, African Americans faced incredible odds, slavery, discrimination, disenfranchisement, and yet every time an obstacle was thrown up, folks kept walking down the path to freedom and a better life. These pathways run through the central moments of our nation's history, and whether it's a courtroom, a boardroom, battlefield or ballot box, on each path you will find remarkable figures who paved the way for people who are now making it today. Each time it looked like the mountain would be too high to climb, they kept going. And Black History Month calls to mind something Martin Luther King Jr. said when he was about to lead a march from Selma to Montgomery. He said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Leaders kept moving forward in politics. Mississippi's Hiram Rhodes Revels went from an army chaplain during the Civil War to become the first African American elected to the United States Senate. What once seemed impossible now seemed possible. Wins like Revels paved the way for President Barack Obama's breakthrough victory in 2008. And it also created a path for folks like Harold Moss, who started Tacoma's Urban League chapter in the 1960s and went on to become the city's first African American mayor. And Harold, in turn, inspired today's local leaders like Keith Blocker and Victoria Woodards on the Tacoma City Council and Mayor Marilyn Strickland. Faith leaders like Martin Luther King Jr. and Ralph Abernathy kept moving forward and showed the nation that we could become a more equal place and that we could do it through peace and tolerance and understanding. Their message of hope paved the way for leaders in our time, like Bishop Larry Robertson, who joined with Bremerton's own Marvin Williams, a star in his own right on the basketball court, to break ground on a stunning new youth center that will give young people positive things to say yes to. The path of peaceful protest continues to be followed by leaders like Tacoma's Reverend Gregory Christopher, who runs the local NAACP chapter and is standing up for people's continued access to quality health care. Former President Obama has frequently quoted Dr. King in saying that the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. But it has only bent toward justice. It has only given future leaders a chance to do what they were born to do because of those who came before and their work. Black History Month reminds us there are still many paths to be traveled. It's clear we've got work to do when folks are finding it increasingly hard to express their right as citizens to vote or have an opportunity at a quality education and a chance to get ahead. We've got work to do in our criminal justice system, and I look forward to seeing those who serve as inspiration for the next generation and make progress on those challenges. We all have to work together. In the spirit of Black History Month, let's not give up. Join me in celebrating Black History Month to acknowledge those who blazed a trail and remind us of the work we need to do together.